Hi, Fritz Creators. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, today we're going to be finding ways to memorize and put um, numbers and parts of numbers together in your brain. So we've got three different ways we're doing it. We have some math sheets and we have, um, I'm going to practice doing our spot game again. So the biggest thing you need to learn in first grade is about quantity. You need to know how to break apart a number into two parts. You need to know it so well that you always know it. Here is six, and you know I like this game splat. If you know six really well, how well do you know six? We'll test it. If I splat, how many are under there? Do you know? It's three. If you know that, then you know two things. You know three plus three makes six. And you know six take away three leaves three. You need know two things. Okay, how well do you know six? Splat. How many is under there? What are the two things you know about six now? Five plus one makes six. Or you also know that six take away one leaves five. You know two things about six. Ready? Splat. What do you know about six? You know two things. Do you know what's under here? Do you know about six? I hope you do. There are four. I'll let you peek. There are four under there. So now you know six take away four leaves two. Or four plus two equals six. This is a really good game to play with a friend. And what I would do is start with six and then maybe try seven and maybe try eight. But don't go up until you really know the first number. So don't go, if you miss a few on six, practice six a few more times. Maybe you need to start with five. It's okay. It doesn't matter what number you start with. But as you learn your numbers and you learn your number bonds and what are the two parts of a number, keep going up because our big goal for the end of first grade is that you could do that with a number like 15 or 16. Don't start there. There's, it's not a competition. Don't start there. Start with six. Make sure you're solid in your low numbers because if you're solid in your low numbers, you're going to be solid as you get into the higher numbers. Okay, two more things for you today. One is an addition chart. The point of addition charts is purely to help you remember things. Now, I think splat's really good for memory, but this is also good for just remembering it and putting what you learned in splat easily onto a piece of paper. So I would do, I would do the columns. Your first job on this page is to answer all the questions. 1 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 0 is 3, 5 plus 0 is 5. You know how to do this. Answer all the questions. If you get stuck, you can always use your fingers or your math rack, but answer all the questions. Then there are two more instructions. The next instruction says circle all the boxes that total add up to 10. Now I kind of not a fan of circling. I kind of thought that maybe coloring them in in a color might be more interesting for you to see the pattern. I'm not going to show you the pattern. You will find a pattern. So you can color them in or circle them, but it's only that add up to 10, right? 10. Then it has another thing for you to do, three things to do. Draw an X through all the boxes that total eight. 
I found this one, 4 plus 4. You'll find lots that total 8, but you first have to fill in all the problems. Right? All right. You should be able to find these patterns. Very good. Then, behind that are some flashcards. This is also a game to play with a friend or a puppet. Hi, Hazel. Can we play together? And the idea is your friend or your puppet holds it up and then I can see it and I go 10 because I know it. Maybe I don't know. It. Maybe I have to count on my fingers. But the more I do this, the better I'm going to know it. Okay, Hazel, hold that one up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really good at this. Nine. Thank you for helping me. Are you getting them? Hazel's going to do one for you. Ten. <laughs> All right, so flashcards and your edition sheet, and most of all, your splat. You can make your own splat piece of paper. I haven't sent one. You gonna make it? You gonna play with me, Hazel? I'm gonna splat. How many's under it? Two. Let's see if you're right, Hazel. Huh, and we know two number sentences. Two plus three equals five. Five take away two equals three. Yay, yay for us. Thanks for helping me. All right, have a great day.